Freaks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. As you can see from the title, today's video is going to be the list of the horror movies that are going to be released this month. We only have four. This is going to be a short video and I know that maybe for some people, Trap that is coming tomorrow to theaters is considered horror and they are including it on the list of this month releases. But in my case, I do feel that the film is a thriller. I actually saw it today, August 1st, because I am filming this on August 1st, but you guys will be seeing this video August 2nd. I saw the film today and for me it's definitely a thriller. Of course, I will not be reviewing it. I'm going to sip it and not say anything else, but I'm going to start with the fourth films that I'm going to be released this month, starting off with Cuckoo or Cuckoo Cuckoo. I think that is how it's pronounced, coming August 9 to theaters. This one follows a 17-year-old girl that is forced to move with her family to a resort where things are not what they seem. I was surprised but also pleased to see that this film was on my theater. It's coming, supposedly coming, but if you have been here for a while, you know that sometimes they announce a film and on the day that it's supposed to get released, they don't release it. So I'm just crossing my fingers that they're not going to be doing that because if not, I will not be able, of course, to review it and that is going to make me sad because I have like, high expectations from it. I really want to watch it. So, cross my fingers. If you see that next week I post a video about something else that is not this review, then it means that unfortunately I wasn't able to watch it. <sighs> but I hope that that doesn't happen. Next one and the one I'm expecting the most this month is Alien Romulus coming on August 16th to movie theaters. This one follows a young people from a distant world must face the most terrifying life form in the universe. This one is going to be directed by Federico Alvarez. He is the one that also did the Evil Dead remake from 2013. He is a very good director, so I have high hopes for it. It looks good. I really like it, the trailer. So high hopes for it is the one I'm expecting the most. I am very, very excited and this one is 100% being released here. So of course this one will have a review. The next one coming on August 23, also two theaters is The Crow. Now this one follows soulmates Eric Davin and Shelley Webster are brutally murdered. Given their chance to save his true love by sacrificing himself, Eric sets out to seek revenge, traversing the world of the living and the dead to put the wrong things right. I did the trailer reaction for this one. I was trying to be as optimistic as possible, but my comment section wasn't it. I, I had a, a few laughs with the comments there. I'm not gonna lie, I had a few laughs because people were so pressed, not with me, but with the trailer. And I can't understand it. The film, I hope, once again, I am trying to be optimistic and I was being optimistic on the, on the trailer reaction, but I know that at the end, this film most likely will not be good, but I am going open-minded. The original film is excellent. If you haven't watched it yet, go and do it. It's, it's worth watching. But I just know that this one is not going to be it. Although, once again, I was trying to be optimistic. I was really trying because I didn't want it to be harsh on it because I didn't feel that it deserved it. But I saw everyone else's reaction and I was like, oh, so people is pissed. <laughs> there were a lot of people that were pissed. If you go to that video, you're going to be seeing a lot of comments. Once again, I wasn't expecting to see that many people mad about the trailer and the film in general. This one hasn't been announced in my local theater, so I don't know yet if I'm going to be able to watch it. Of course, as always, if you see that I post a video, you know that I was able to. If I post about something else, you know that I didn't. I'm not gonna lie that in a way, I will not be feeling sad if I don't get to see it, but at the same time, curiosity kills the cat. And I am curious to see what this version is going to be bringing in. So I am just being open-minded about it, but I know that there's a lot of people that will not even watch this in theater, so I will take the sacrifice. And to end the month, also coming on August 23, but this one is coming to each other, is Hell Hole. Now this one follows an American-led fracking crew that uncovers 11 French soldiers frozen in time from a Napoleonic campaign whose bodies host are parasitic monsters. This one, 
I don't know yet if I'm going to be watching or even reviewing, but what I am thinking of doing is if I cannot watch The Crow, because they're coming out on the same day, then I will be watching this one. So basically, there you have it. If I am able to watch The Crow, that will be the review that day. If not, there is going to be hell hole. And with that, I end the video. Like I said, the list was quite short. I know that September is going to be a little bit longer. And of course, October is going to be a hella long list because the majority of releases are now being held until October or maybe September. So this is it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below which one are you expecting the most. For me, it's Alien. I really like the franchise, so high hopes for it. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye. Game over.